All right, boys, the new patch for Tabor just dropped. This update brings a ton more optimization, a bunch of bug fixes, mostly quality of life things, nothing especially new, but it's gonna make the gameplay 10 times better. So the first topic of the update is, of course, more optimization. We're gonna be seeing this pretty much every update. Then moving on to the maps, we have some improved textures, more cover in some areas, optimized materials, better performance. And this right here is a pretty nice thing. The loot crates have been adjusted so it's a lot easier to grab things. As most of you probably know, looting is like a pain in the ass in this game. So they've adjusted the loot crates and they've also improved the hand collisions as well as accidentally grabbing your weapon while looting. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I do that all the time. I'll grab my gun trying to open a drawer and it will glitch out and sometimes crash my game. Probably knew that this gun wall didn't work at all. It's finally fixed. And uh, one thing that they mentioned in the patch notes, I never knew this was in the game. Maybe it wasn't working, that's why. If you shake a mag, you'll feel it in your hand. It'll vibrate and however many times it vibrates is approximately how much ammo you have left. Um, I don't know if that was always a thing. I have no idea. I never knew that. My left hand vibrates three times, meaning there is about three quarters of the mag left. Um, if we shoot some of it, we try again. Now it only vibrates two times, so we have about half the mag left. I have no idea what this, this van is. I don't think it does anything as of now. It could be wrong. I don't know. But it's there now. They've made the AI a lot more predictable. Before they would strafe around at like ungodly speeds and you just can't predict where they're gonna go. But I'm gonna go to Missile Silo real quick. Oh no, you can't fling up the ladder anymore. That's so sad. Probably necessary though. That was a little unrealistic. Yeah, the scavs are 100% better. They actually ran, took cover, and stayed stationary. That That is definitely a very good improvement. All right, and the only other changes we have other than bug fixes and optimization is uh, some changes to the health effects. So hunger now drains a little bit quicker. It wasn't really an issue before. And then stamina will regenerate quicker and also reduce stamina when you jump. There's some small changes there. We have, of course, all these improvements bug fixes. You can pause and read these if you'd like. Uh, there's a lot of them. And the last little feature is just a heartbeat sound will play when you're under 25 HP, though you'll know if you're about to die, which I guess I guess is nice because I don't like having the, uh, the blood effect on screen all the time. That'll be useful. It looks like our, our rations are working now. So we have emergency rations. Uh, looks like you just get a med shot and a, you know, shitty pistol or whatever. And finally with the backpacks, they've improved a lot more again. If you put an item here, It'll play a sound so you know it's it's you know it's been placed, you know it's not gonna fall out. And overall the backpacks just seem a lot better. They've improved the way you grab them off of your back, so it's more consistent. You're not accidentally pulling your vest off or whatever. But overall, much better. Yeah, that's about it for this update. A lot of good small features here. You should make the gameplay a lot better in the future. Thank you guys for watching. Consider leaving a like and subscribing. It helps me out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.